Hey, what's up, you turkeys? Today, we're making a kale chicken wrap. We're putting together avocado, tomato, kale, and chicken and wrapping it up. Icky dicky. Here we go. If you ask me, I use chicken thighs over chicken breasts every single time. The meat's darker, there's more oil in it, it's uh, tastier, better texture. A lot of the times, the chicken thighs are cheaper than the chicken breasts. And as per usual, we're making a large portion so we have plenty of snacks later on in the week. And that's just a little snack. Cook me something else because that's just a little snack. Kale is packed with vitamin K, which is really good for your immune system and your reproductive organs. It reverses aging with antioxidants. And it's green! And you know how much I love green vegetables. The only way that I can eat kale is if it's chopped really, really finely. Cooked down to almost nothing. Or completely drenched in dressing. All right, I'm gonna drink this entire bottle of ranch. Ooh. In a weight room, if you're an athlete or a kind of retired senior citizen like me, you prepare. You prepare, you build new capabilities, you get stronger, you get faster, you figure out how to get leverage. Wait, 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 what kind of cheese is that? It's a little foot cheese and it's really good. Set yourself to work with reflection and intelligence, either at your prescribed duty, carry it out in the most scrupulous manner Find yourself something you're good at and do it to perfection, something you enjoy. And if you do that, I can promise you, as I have over the past 30 some odd years, you won't feel that you've gone to work a day in your life. They see me rolling. Karen and I actually met in a taco restaurant. She was bartending and I was working the burrito bar. So if there's one thing I can give you some advice on, it's how to roll a burrito slash wrap. By far, the best technique is the tight diaper. You wanna make sure you bring up both sides to have a secure, strong foundation. From there, you can use your pinky fingers as a kind of guide to complete the roll. Mm-hmm. I think this is the best wrap I've ever made. Mm. Wraps. Mm. You, you gotta know mm. how to make a good wrap. Mm -hmm. You gotta buy a good wrap. You gotta buy good wraps. There's so many bad wraps out there. <laughs> Bring the going, get it when the heat is on. Every day it feels like me, life is beating on. So you know what are the worst are the wraps that are like the green wraps. Oh, like the spinach wraps. The spinach wraps. Spinach and tomato wraps. Watch out for those ones. Those ones last a day. They get stale so quickly. They get stale right away. And then every time you wrap something, they just rip in half. Mm -hmm. I don't even buy them anymore. I don't know. It's tough to find good wraps. Mm -hmm. Being said, I can definitely still taste the kale. <laughs> <laughs> There's no getting around it. Mm -hmm. Kale has a weird, harsh texture, harsh mm -hmm. flavor to it, I want to mm -hmm. say. It's fine when you use like chicken thighs and dressing in there, but it's tough, I'm telling you. If anyone knows any like unreal kale recipes where you don't taste the kale, <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> and like, I've tried the kale chips. The kale chips are good. But, but they have to be covered. They're basted in oil. <laughs> that's, that's why you don't and like taste. powder. Yeah, it's like powder and oil. It's like Dorito chip powder. Just yeah. Covered in them. And then like, you put them in the oven so they shrink up. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all right. Yeah, you have to buy like 10 bunches of kale to make like a bowl of kale chips. Bowl. Because it just like <laughs> shrinks down. Kale is related to Brussels sprouts. They look so different. Uh -huh. Not really. Actually, they look pretty different. It's like a Brussels sprout that blooms. <laughs> like a floral. Well, like a flattened Brussels sprout. No, it'd be like a Brussels sprout that like opens up and comes out of a shell. Mm. What was that? Can you hear that? Yeah. Sockeye. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sockeye. The sockeye's back. He's here somewhere. How many burritos do you think you actually rolled? Like oh, total? I rolled a thousand burritos. Yeah. I've rolled thousands of burritos. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder how many margaritas I made. I made like a hundred margaritas a day. Maybe okay. more. Karen can make a couple margaritas, I've seen her. 
It was on the news once making margaritas. Fact. Yes. Yes. We should link Remember that. that? Yeah, we should link that in the description. I'm gonna try to find a, a <laughs> yeah, yeah, link. Yeah. We have Karen Halpin from Taco Fino. We'll be finishing these cocktails after this show. What's, well, the that... easy, what's the easiest job in a restaurant? Um, arguably. Manager is the easiest. Mm, Manager just- Expediter. Expediter's tough. Cause you gotta deal with like- Yeah, when but it's, when the it's busy? easiest job in the restaurant though. You think it's expediter? Maybe the host. I think it's a manager. Manager just voids items on checks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's all they do. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> they just cruise around. Hey guys, how's your food going? You guys enjoying everything tonight? Literally. Oh, the chicken was oh. late. Oh, the soup was late. Can you avoid it? It's like, yep. Yep. Here's, here's my code. Here's a secret code. It's like, hey, can I have your code? It's like, no, otherwise I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> to go and get it when the heat is on every day it feels like me life is beating on so fake mother